What's up, everyone? I'm Rod Rodriguez. I'm a huge fan of Gary Vaynerchuk. I've appreciated his advice. I like his inspiration. But this time, Gary, I think you got it wrong. I'm referring to a video that he just recently put out where he calls up a young man named Matt. Matt is about to get his GED. He was uh, considering joining the military for two years and then pursuing acting school. Now, the video starts off pretty decent with Gary gauging this guy's motivations, trying to figure out what's, what's propelling Matt's decisions. But around minute 641, things kind of go off the rails. At least I thought so. Gary's advice is to go to L.A., and, you know, figure it out when you get there. I don't think this is good advice for a young man whose alternate plan is to join the military for two years, then consider acting school. His plan seemed pretty solid. And then it's this, like, run off to the circus kind of thing. Now, I get it where Gary is all about school sucks. And, and I, I don't necessarily disagree with that. But here's the thing. I didn't like school either. Hated it. I barely, barely graduated high school. Skin of my teeth. Hated school. But today, I have a master's degree because life changes. You know, you, you get older, you gain more experience, you gain more knowledge, you gain new goals. And it was really great having the Montgomery GI Bill to pay for school when I was ready to go. And the other thing is, School sucks because we're stuck learning crap we don't care about. Nobody cares about the War of 1812 unless you want to be a historian. So absolutely, Matt probably feels like school sucks because high school is kind of a drag. But when you're studying something that you're genuinely interested in, like if he's going to acting school to be an actor, chances are the subject is going to, to captivate him. He's going to be interested and invested in it. And if he's not, at least he's... You know, at least he's meeting other student actors, accomplished actors. Maybe he's networking. And maybe the whole experience is there for him to figure out that acting isn't for him. And then he can figure out what is. The other part of this is the military is not a prison sentence. And I don't expect Gary to understand this because he's never been in the military. And, you know... That's not a knock on him. It's just something he doesn't understand. Like, I don't understand the experience of owning a liquor store. Um, it's just life, right? But the military is not like 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you're in uniform. You finish up at 1700 typically, and the rest of the evening is yours. You have the weekends. You have leave you can take to go do other things and take some decompression time, vacation, whatever. So... If Matt wanted to join the military, and he, I think he was going to do like reserve because or guard because he said two years, and I think active duty is still a four-year commitment. But even if he went active duty, you still got time in your spare time after work to write, to be an actor, join an improv group, go to community college. There's a thousand things he could do to continue bettering himself as an actor, prepare himself to be an actor. And then when he gets out, he's got college paid for. Look, go to Juilliard. And nobody's going to tell me that Juilliard does not have an, a remarkable uh, track record for producing artists. He can go to any college he wants to. He can, you know, Matt, you can get ready for the entrance and the SATs and all that other stuff. You have four years to get it done. Get out and college is paid for. My career... I've been in the active duty side, the reserve side, the guard side for almost 20 years now. My career hasn't been fun the whole way, but I appreciate every door that it has opened for me. And it has opened a remarkable amount of doors. So today, I'm a reserve warrant officer. I run a podcast. I own a podcast production company. And I still have a 9 to 5, which I'm trying to balance everything. And I wouldn't be able to do that unless I learned the skills, the discipline that the Army gave me. So with that, if anybody's interested in understanding a little more about what the military is really like in respect to you pursuing your entrepreneurial, uh, your entrepreneurial goals, your acting goals, I talk to veteran entrepreneurs every single day. And they are a remarkable bunch, and there's so much to pull from your military experience. 
So Gary, if you're interested, I'd be more than happy to talk to you about this. But the fact is, uh, this video is probably not going to get the Gary V reach and Matt will probably never see this video. But if you're a young person or check it out, if you're a parent, listen, I'm a, I'm a dad. I have an 18 year old and a 16 year old, a 14 year old and a seven year old. Listen, if you're a parent and your kid is kind of on the fence or maybe they're not doing so well in school, it's okay to suggest the military. And it doesn't mean that you're sending them off to die. And it doesn't mean that you're sending them off to be, they're going to come back a robot. That's not how this works. Okay. Yes, it's a dangerous job, but so is being a police officer. There's a lot of dangerous jobs. The military is a prestigious job. You get so much out of it. Your, your kid can come back a totally different person for the better. Okay. For the better. They can get college paid for and figure some stuff out. I'm all about pursuing your goals. And if that means you got to run off and join the circus, go run off and join the circus. But I, I tell my kids this, at least have a plan. I'll, even if it's a rudimentary plan, even if it's a sketch, it's something. Don't jump into stuff half-assed. Don't, st don't just jump into things. Think about it first and then figure it out. And that's something the Army let me do. So... That's it for me. Uh, thank you very much for listening. If you're interested in learning more about my podcast, it's the After Action Review Podcast. Go to my website, www.theaarpodcast.com. It's all about what's gone right, what's gone wrong, and everything in between in the world of veteran business. All right, folks. Thanks again. I'll see you at the next episode.